welcome back to All Indiana. Hey, I think I know what you need. You need an easy dinner that's quick to put together, full of ingredients that are already in your fridge and pantry, and you need it to taste amazing. And more than that, you need your kids to fall in love with it as well. And I think I've got just the thing. So I call these muffin tin meatloaves, you guys, and we're going to make them together right now. They're pretty simple, but I want to show you some New Year shortcuts, okay? So what we're going to do is work backwards like we do sometimes on All Indiana. I've got some that are uh, that are almost done. So these are what the muffin tin meatloaves look like. And what I've done is I've topped. They've already been in the oven for about 15 or 20 minutes, depend on how, depending on how big you make those meatloaves. So we're using a muffin tin because it's kind of fun and it makes this nice individual portion serving size, okay? We could call these COVID muffin tins, Alexis, <laughs> if we, muffin tin meatloaves, if you wanted to. And then I'm gonna top them with some cheese. Usually I use cheddar, but what I had on hand was mozzarella. Ooh, I love so mozzarella. use whatever you have, you know? You take a look at these recipes and don't think you have to stick exactly with what you see. You do you, I like to say. So we're gonna <laughs> top those with cheese. We're gonna put them back in the oven. Okay. And then we're gonna start from the beginning of the recipe so you can see what it's all about. I like this. Right. You know, when people think about meatloaf, it's such a down home thing. Like it feels like comfort. It is. And people, it seems like they either love it or they hate it. And you said you do it. Your grandma has a meatloaf. Yes, she, what I does love she her put meatloaf. in hers? I, you know, honestly, I have no idea of the love, know. affection, onions. I know she does put onions in hers. Okay. But, I mean, I just, I, really, I like meatloaf. I like it when I can kind of taste some of the ingredients ingredients when it's not so mixed together, but I know other right. people rather, you know, be mixed together. So. Well, that's a good point. So the thing about this, all right, so right now I've got an egg and what you're going to do before you put the ground beef in is do this part first because okay. it really makes a difference because you don't want to over mix the meat. You mm. don't want it to be tough and chewy. Yeah, that's you true. You want it to be tender. So we're going to mix everything else first and then add ground beef. Okay, so there's an egg. Now, here is, I call this the salsa shortcut. Mm. So you're going to do any kind of salsa that's your favorite. And what happens is you don't have to stand over your counter and chop up onions, garlic, mm. peppers, all of it's done in the salsa. So I kind of call that the Swiss army knife of cooking. Oh, if you want to take like some shortcuts, those. yeah. And then a little bit of chili powder. I had a friend make this and she messaged me. She was like, Ness, that was so spicy. Well, she happened to use cayenne instead <laughs> of chili powder. So make sure you got the right stuff, you guys. You're looking for chili powder, yeah. just like you'd put in regular chili. And then instead of breadcrumbs, I like Alexis to increase the fiber. And I think oats work a lot better. Really? So I okay. use quick one minute oats instead of any kind of um, breadcrumbs. Okay. I so like we're going to mix that around first. And I noticed you put a little salt in there. I know you love your, your salt. Yeah, yep. You got to have that flavor enhancer, the, the um, flavor multiplier of just a tad bit of sodium. Then we're going to add in the ground beef. And then I like to, at this point, ditch the whisker fork. I've got gloves on, yeah. you guys. So we're just going to mix this all together. And then you've prepped your 12 count muffin tin. Just spray it with some cooking spray. Mm -hmm. Get the oven to 400 degrees. Um, so we do all, you know, I kind of grew, grew up with like the classic meatloaf with like the the sweet ketchupy topping my yeah. mom would put on top. Yeah. But there's so many different kinds that there's you can so make. Mm -hmm. I know you guys like ground turkey. You can make this with yeah. ground turkey. I'm sure that you could because a lot of the flavor is in what you're doing right now. You know what I love the fact that you put this in the muffin tin is because people really do like their own stuff. And when you have like kids or guests or whatever, that's perfect. You can just, you know, put it really cute on a plate. Well, like it, it is. It's kind of like, you know, at home we have five kids now and this mm -hmm. is a kid friendly size. But then also I like to do these kind of things to meal prep. Usually yes. I spend some time on Sunday night or Monday. I used to be better at this before Baby Noble came along. <laughs> I don't know that I've done it since him, but I went through this stint where I was, if so, a person would have gotten too close to me, I would have frozen them. But I was freezing all <laughs> these meals and meals and meals. I know my husband had to watch out. Um, I just got the bug. And these are perfect to freeze. Cook them up and then freeze them and you'll have them ready to go for the week. Because I think, I don't know about you, but I feel better throughout the day if I'm getting regular protein yes, in. Yes, yes. And this is a whole lot of protein and flavor which is great yes all right so you guys get the idea you don't have to sit here and watch me do the rest of that but I'm I just put the ones in that had the cheese on top so let's pull those out of the Ooh. oven now and you could even put the this on a uh, low broil okay so you could get that cheese melted already but this is what they look like take Ooh. a look at that and I like it when the cheese gets a little brown yes. and slightly crispy that is my favorite 
So, my dear co-host, I'm going to serve you one. You know what? I can. This is what love mm -hmm. looks like. Thank uh -huh. you so much. Absolutely. There we go. Look at this. And this is exactly what we would do at home. We would just find whatever is closest to us <laughs> you know it. and do it that way. <laughs> you know That's it. exactly how this uh, would work. Oh, there it we looks go. so good. Mm -hmm. And they're perfect. Oh, they're, they're so perfect delicious, meatballs. you guys. Literally. <laughs> They are. Meatloaf They're like balls. large meatballs. Yeah, no, that's exactly <laughs> right. How, whatever you want to call them, you call them that. But I think that you're going to have fun making this recipe. You always make our kitchens much more fancy on a budget, and I love it. Good. <laughs> it's my favorite thing.